Welcome to the Paymate registration tutorial video. Today we'll be showing you how easy it is to set up your Paymate account. To start, click on the registration button. Based on where you live, choose the account from the drop down menu, Australia, New Zealand or US. Then just fill out the rest of the form with your personal and login details and click the submit button. After you've registered, log in with your new username and password. Click on the My Account tab at the top right. The first thing you'll want to do is add your bank account. You can have multiple bank accounts tied to your Paymate account but receive payments only into one default account. To do this, click the Financial Details menu. Under Bank Accounts, click the Add button. Just enter the details of your bank account and tell us whether or not you would like this to be your default account. This is only relevant if you have more than one account. Tick the Direct Debit Authority Acknowledgement and click Save. If you plan to use Paymate to sell on eBay, you'll need to link your Paymate to your eBay account by clicking on the Services tab. Please view the clip linking your Paymate account to eBay if you need help with this step. Now to be able to receive payments, you will need to fill in and submit your merchant details form. Click this tab, then enter details about your company and the type of product you are selling. This is important even for those who sell on eBay, as it is necessary for us to approve your account to receive payments. Click on the edit link next to the owner details to add more information about the business owner or yourself. If there is more than one owner, click the add owner button to add more owner details. Scroll down to the section called operating details. First we'll have a look at the company details form. Click on edit to open it up. Here there are some basic questions regarding the nature of your company or business. Doing business as is simply the name you operate your business under, if you have a business. For eBay users, this is just the eBay username you sell under. This name will display on the cardholder statement. Customer service phone is the number your buyers can contact you on. Provide your legal company name. If you don't have one, just enter your own name. Next enter the state you operate from. and tell us what business type you are. Enter the date your business or company was established. Fill out contact information, including the phone number and an address. Finally, select whether you sell via a website and provide its URL, or whether you sell on eBay, or both. At least one of these must be selected. Once you're done, click the Save button to store your details. Now you can move on to the product details form. Simply go back to the merchant details menu and click the edit next to the product details. Here we require some information on the nature of the products you are selling. Enter a product description and choose a product category code. To do this, simply click the link and select the product type from the listing. Choose the category that best describes the majority of your products or services. Click the Done button once you've made your selection. Enter the estimated volume of payments per year and your average value per sale. Next enter the average days to ship the product after the order and payment have been taken. Do you have seasonal sales? Select Yes if you only receive payments for a brief period of the year. Enter where your business operates from. If you're an eBay seller operating from home, simply select Private Residence. Enter whether or not you accept deposits for future products, services, for example, pre-orders or unreleased goods. Have you previously processed Visa or MasterCard payments? Select yes or no from the drop-down menu. Enter your B2B percentage. This is simply the amount of sales to other businesses. For most eBay sellers, this may be zero. Finally, select your refund policy. We require you to publish a refund policy on your eBay listing or website. Once you're done, click the Save button to store your details. Finally, you'll want to submit these details for approval. To do this, simply go back to the Merchant Details page and scroll down. Tick the confirmation box and click Submit. And that's it. You should receive provisional approval immediately if you meet our minimum requirements. You're now set up to start using Paymate. For more information, please visit our website.